Are you struggling to keep your home clean daily? Maybe you've noticed that your friend's homes are always clean and you're like, how in the world? If you desire a clean home, but don't know how or where to start or think it takes too much time, by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a daily cleaning schedule that's a right fit for you. I'll have some actionable daily tips for you at the end of this video, so stick with me. Hi, I'm Margo and I'm always looking for quick and simple ways to keep my home clean and tidy. I've been implementing these strategies for years and my home is not only clean, but it doesn't take a very long time to clean it. If you're a working mama and you want to successfully manage work, life, and mommyhood, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. I release brand new videos every Wednesday. Here's the secret. A daily cleaning schedule has to fit you. It has to fit your needs, your lifestyle, and your expectations for what a clean home is. I'm here to help guide you in creating your perfect cleaning daily routine. First, identify number one, your expectations. How clean do you want your home to be? It's not about what we see on Pinterest and magazines and people have these immaculately clean homes. What are your expectations for a clean home? You know, does a clean home to you mean the dishes are always, you know, clean and put away? The beds are always made, but you're okay with maybe some dog hair on the floor or a little bit of dust. What does a clean home look like to you? Number two, be realistic. Be honest with yourself. Think about how much time you can actually dedicate each day to cleaning, to a particular task. Setting unrealistic expectations essentially just leads to failure. So be realistic. What can you do, right? Maybe you want to vacuum every single day, but you work outside of the home, right? And we have kids and then you're stuck, you know, in traffic on your way home and you get home and it's like seven o'clock. I mean, and you have to get dinner ready and you have to get your kids right, you know, ready for school the next day and you have to bathe them, read to them, play with them, you know vacuuming every day might not be a realistic task. Swiffering every day might not be a realistic task. You know, so again, be realistic with your schedule. So as a pro tip, the way that I typically create or and guide other women in creating a daily cleaning schedule is, you know, you kind of sit down with yourself and you write down your schedule, let's say from Monday through Sunday, right? What do you do? You wake up in the morning, you know, you get your kids ready, you make breakfast, you drop them off to school, you go to work, what time do you come home? What do you do when you come home, right? So you kind of want to evaluate how busy you are and what tasks you're prioritizing to really, again, create that perfect daily realistic cleaning schedule for you. So maybe you have an extra 10 minutes in the morning where you can wash dishes after breakfast. Maybe you have an additional 15 minutes when you come home from work, maybe, you know, once your kids are in bed, you can quickly kind of tidy up or you can Swiffer. But this will, you know, no amount of anyone dictating what their cleaning schedule is, is going to help you. It can serve as a guide and kind of recommendations of what you can actually do on a daily basis to maintain cleanliness. But your daily cleaning schedule has to fit you, your lifestyle. Number three, so evaluate your priorities. What is the most important thing for you to clean on a daily basis? So if you have a large home with multiple rooms, a garage, a few bathrooms, a basement, you are, ladies, you are not cleaning at all every single day. You're just not. Like, that is insane. There are not enough hours in a day. I don't care if, if you spend most of your time at home, if you're like me and you work from home, we just naturally, as working mamas, we do not have that much time to, on a daily basis, clean your entire house. And if you do, God bless you. Can you please let us know how you do it? Um, but you want to evaluate your priorities. So what do I mean by that? What, what in your home, if it's messy or dirty, like drives you nuts? I mean, like stresses you out. Like our lives are super duper stressful. Um, the last thing you want is to have some space that's cluttered or dirty, like add to our anxiety. So think about it right now. What's that space 
in your home where if it's dirty, it like makes ah! you cringe. For me, it's an unmade bed that drives me absolutely nuts. I don't know why I turn into like a chaotic, crazy looking demon. Like if the beds, if my daughter's bed and like my bed is not made, I literally go freaking bananas, right? Another space in my home that drives me nuts is the entryway. So, you know, the jackets, the shoes are piled up and they're not set out the right way. And this is like, you know, when we come home and I'm taking my dog's leash off and there's just like a lot going on. Not only that, again, I live in a small city apartment. So my entryway is like the tiniest, most narrow thing in the whole entire world. I actually at one point, total side note, I, I really wanted a hall tree, but my hallway is so narrow that... A hall tree that narrow doesn't actually exist so I built one because I wanted to create organizations because again my entryway is like an eyesore for me so that is something that I have to make sure I clean all the time and the third thing and if you've watched any of my videos you know I hate washing dishes but I wash them because a dirty sink like a sink piled up with a bunch of dishes it just naturally even if the rest of the kitchen is clean right even if you wipe down the tables and the countertops, but your sink is like just full of dishes. It drives me insane. So as a pro tip, if you hate certain chores around your house, but you feel that it's a priority for you to get it done, make your chore fun. So for example, when I do the laundry, I listen to a podcast or I talk to a friend on the phone because I hate it. When I wash the dishes, I will actually watch Netflix. So that's kind of a good way to overcome that hatred for a chore that you must do on a daily basis. If you're getting value from this video, show me some love by tapping that like button and let me know what chore do you enjoy doing? Leave a comment down below. Number four, evaluate your home life. So this is essentially your lifestyle. So when it comes to creating your perfect, your perfect daily cleaning schedule, what does your daily home life look like? So do you work from home? Do you work in an office? Do, do your kids go to school? Do you homeschool your children, right? What does your lifestyle look like? Do you have pets? How many people live in your home? How many people in your family are actually helping you clean? So as a pro tip, right, when it comes to creating a daily cleaning schedule, this daily cleaning schedule is not only created for you. You guys do a lot. We as working mamas do a ton, okay? So we have children, we have partners, maybe we have other family members that live in our home, right? As a pro tip, create a chores list. Have your kids help. If you hate cleaning, check out this video where I share simple stress-free ways to clean your home on a daily basis. Number five, it's time to create your own daily cleaning schedule. So you've evaluated your lifestyle. You know how much time you're willing to dedicate to cleaning you know, on a daily basis. You've identified now those areas that just drive you nuts. And by the way, if you just literally tackle only those areas, you're going to be much happier, right? And now finally, for some bonus tips. So when creating your perfect daily cleaning routine, here are a few best practices. And again, I, I just, I want you all to be mindful. Adapt the ones that you resonate with. Adapt the ones that you're like, yes, you know what? This is something that is manageable for me to include into my day to day. Okay. So these are really best practices for daily cleaning. Number one, make your bed. Number two, get rid of clutter. So less clutter means less cleaning. And for us busy working mamas, we don't really have a lot of time to dedicate to cleaning. So you really kind of want to declutter your space um, and see what you can get rid of because it'll actually decrease the amount of time that you spend cleaning every day and decrease the amount of things that you have to clean. Number three, wash dishes after each meal. Again, it saves time and your kitchen automatically and instantly looks much cleaner. Number four, tidy up before you leave a room. This is a habit that I adapted a couple of years ago and it has been fantastic. My mindset is now that I will not leave a space until I tidy up. So if I'm in the kitchen and we had a meal, I will not leave the kitchen until I tidied up. Now, I don't mean I don't leave the kitchen until I scrub the stove and scrub the microwave and like deep clean, you know, the sink. And no, that, that is not what I mean. But I mean like tidy up before you leave a space. If you're in the bathroom and you notice, let's say there's 
you know, kids hair or dog hair. My dog periodically will like push the door open and walk into the bathroom. So her hair is everywhere. Um, but if I notice that there's hair again, I take a little wipe. I always have extra wipes in my bathroom. I always clean my bath. I always keep my bathroom cleaning supplies in the bathroom. I will just wipe it down. Right. And then I keep it moving. So tidy up before you leave a space. It saves you a lot of time and it only takes two to three minutes. Number five, throw out the trash. Again, nothing looks messier and smellier than garbage that has just been sitting there. And you know, especially in the warm months, like spring and summer, your kitchen begins to like stink and you're like, oh my God, like, ew, gross. So just take out the garbage. Um, let's see, number six, focus on high traffic areas. So again, focus on areas where you and your family spend a lot of time. Maybe it's the dining room table, maybe it's the living room, maybe it's the entryway, but focus on when we talk about daily cleaning, right? Focus on high traffic areas because those are the eyesores. Those are the ones that are probably driving you nuts. So you want to tackle those first. Number seven, finally, um, all items in your space should have a home to go to. So ladies, organization is king to keeping your home clean daily. A lot of time our spaces look dirty because our items don't have a home to go to. So for example, maybe you don't have a designated space for your mail. So you picked up your mail and you're randomly throwing it on the kitchen table. That is not where it belongs. The problem here is your mail does not have a home to go to. And the home typically is two different areas. So I'm gonna give you a very simple pro tip. I open my mail on top of a garbage can. This probably sounds insane. But this is how I never have any paper clutter because typically, you know, you open your mail and like 90% of it is not anything you need, right? It's just like spam, flyers, whatnot. And we'll just kind of leave there to get to it later. And now your pile of mail and paper clutter is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I always take my mail when I pick it up daily. I open it on top. Literally, I like open up my garbage can and everything that I don't need, I rip up and I throw out. Everything I do need, I have a designated space in my entryway for bills, for important mail. It's a nice little organized holder and that is where it goes. So to keep your home looking clean, every single item in your space has to have a home to go to. Keeping it real, mamas, have your attention go towards cleaning habits that are a good fit for you and your family. You can always add more stuff later, for now, it's all about your expectations for a clean home, not someone else's. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Thank you so much for watching and always remember to be good to yourselves.